Hello, I'm Bao Xiliu from Fudan University. I'm very glad to share our work building a personalized model for social media and textual content censorship. Social media platforms like Weibo have been an important medium for users' content sharing. A lot of users share their daily life experience on this platform. However, many studies found the user content suffering from the problem of content disclosure. On the one hand, users' content including sensitive information. On the other hand, nearly 19% users believe they had lost the control of their personal information. To solve this problem, users might check in, adjusting, or create an audience list to protect their privacy. However, the time, efforts, and the content claims limited users to manually determine what content is public or non-public. Recently, some studies tried to design method to recommend audience for users. For example, recommend audience based on users' history sharing behavior social relationships, but this method has shortcomings. First, it can't identify the sensitive information from the content. Second, it might harm ongoing social relationships and users' content sharing motivation. In our paper, we would like to conduct censorship from the content perspective. That is, evaluate if a post can be published public by determining the sensitive information in it. Then, the user can revise the post by this way, both sensitive information protection and border content permeation can be achieved. However, constructing a content censorship tool is a challenging task. First, different users are likely to have different perspective on sensitive information, which means the tool should generate personalized results for different users. Second, what information is related to users' content um, censorship results has not been studied, and how to um, utilize the related information to generate personalized uh, censorship results is also unknown. We propose a four-step framework to solve about the problem. First, in the empirical study, we built a privacy dataset. During one month, we collected about 6,000 posts from 16,8 Weibo users. The dataset also contained user metadata, for example, age, gender, follower numbers, and so on. We asked the user to classify the publicity of each post and label the sensitive information from what level in the non-public content. This is an example of the user's annotation. We conduct a logistic regression model to explore what factors related to the post publicity and the sensitive information. We introduced both textual content and user's metadata into the model. The textual content is represented by IRWC dictionary. After basic processing, we performed the analysis. We found most users' metadata features, such as gender, age, VIP level, are related to the post publicity. The results suggest some content features, such as emotion, or achieve, sex, severe, friend world, are related to the content publicity. We also conduct analyze to explore what factors were associated with users' evaluation of sensitive information. The results are shown in the table. Through about analyze, we found both content and the users' metadata, such as age, gender, are predictive of the post publicity. We also found the sensitive information also depends on language context and some user metadata profiles. Based on the analyze, we propose a personalized multitask censorship model as shown in favor. The model contains three modules. In feature embedding module, we embed users' metadata and uh, textual content into model. The multi-task learning content censorship module generates content censorship results. Output module gives post publicity and uh, sensitive word. Let's introduce the content censorship module. It's a sequence to sequence structure. In the encoder, we fused the content feature with the metadata and achieved the content um, classification task. In the decoder, we achieved the sensitive word detection task. After building the model, we design a prototype. A browser plugin based content censorship tool. The tool transfers data between plugin and model server, and uh, it also shows the, the censorship result for users. We use the green style to tell the user that the post is evaluated as public as a comparison. The red color means the post is non public. We made both automatic evaluation and human evaluation. In automatic evaluation, we set fast test RSTM as baseline. The result says our model outperforms the baseline uh, methods on several metrics, including precision, recall, and IE score. However, automatic uh, evaluation are challenging to measure users' real experience. So, we recreated 13 users to manually evaluate our prototype. We provide users with three evaluation results, from which the user is asked to make a choice. 
First option is our models in out. The second is a random classifying option. The third option is the original post. We also ask users to report their reason for choosing or not choosing the above option. We found about 16.8 users selected our results. As it could say, users prefer our censorship results. People give some example. We found our model, the identified username, location, swear words. We also found 15 posts were adjusted based on the censorship results. However, most of the rest of posts also user believe their posts contain privacy information. Uh, they didn't make um, modifications when we interview users to understand their behavior. The reason is for path, lack of motivation, limited knowledge, and limited time and effort and other strategy. We found the user experienced a trade-off between content sharing and privacy protection. In some cases, users would like to sacrifice privacy information to satisfy their content sharing need for joy, fantasy, and uh, relationship intent. We found many users don't know how to revise the same information in a short time period. We also found some users use audio control method to protect their privacy. The advantages of, of our model and tools are first, our tool outperforms other methods on different metrics and provides um, users with the most acceptable censorship results. It gives users a new option and it is flexible to install and use. The disadvantage includes um, our part time only serves users with privacy um, classification and detection, while users expect to um, part time to provide privacy and correction, and uh, it only works on a web page. Many bots have focused on content over disclosure from the perspective of who, um, that is, audience control. However, um, this method has many drawbacks. On the contrary, we conduct research from the perspective of what, um, that is, contains censorship. By building censorship model and uh, prototype and uh, evaluate them, we found, uh, first, our tool um, can identify and visualize sensitive information that users may overlook. We also observed that some users would like to combine content censorship with audience control to meet great um, privacy protection needs. So, uh, proposing a course that can help users um, protect sensitive information from perspective of both whom and the what. Uh, this means uh, integrating content censorship and audience control to support uh, flexible use can be expanded in the future research. Um, third, some users um, don't modify the post even though sensitive words were detected. Um, besides the limitation of knowledge and time, one important reason is the trade off between privacy protection and the great need. For content disclosure, many situations they choose to um, sacrifice privacy information to satisfy their um, needs for joy, um, blessing, emotional comfort, and uh, relationship return. Um, this paper also has some limitations. The research was essentially uh, conducted on a limited scale and on uh, uh, single platforms, and uh, there may um, be some bias in the results. Second, uh, our model cannot uh, solve users with uh, revised suggestion. In general, this paper first built a data set and explored the factors related to the um, public level of a post and the same table information. Then we designed a personalized multi-task continuous model and uh, uh, implement on first time. Finally, um, we performing both automatic and human evaluation and provide several design insights for